Okay, I'm up in the attic. Here's our return air, 14 inch. And uh, going through the wall using the cavity. Let's see what return air uh, we have, what size we have here. Surprise, surprise. This is the return air for a three ton air conditioner. Let me measure this out and see if I can make this work. Okay. That's sad. This is a very sad. Three and a half by. Get my finger out of the way. Uh, six. Three and a half by eight. So let me go back and get my ductilator out and see if I can get this thing to work. Uh, no, I'm actually going to put the return air in the ceiling. This is going bye-bye. Okay, this is your return. So this duct is coming from the master bedroom. And then this plenum up in the attic is loose. This is loose. So it's sucking air. It's open. So it's sucking air from the attic down. This is why this is dirty here. This is this is attic air that's being sucked back into the unit unfiltered. So that needs to be fixed. Here we got a BDP condenser. Somebody put the condenser fan motor in here probably years ago. So it has a bad capacitor. You got a condenser coil leak. But I'll show you what the real problem is. There is actually a real problem. Here's the problem. The blade's upside down. It's been like that for years. Too funny. So it has a bad capacitor and a leaky condenser coil because probably running. It was running high head. I've never seen this thing run before, but I just know. Here's a job where the sleeve is too high. Okay, this is a sleeve that's up too high. Here's a nice job for you. These package units, they're crammed in here. They are crammed in. Check out the fork we got going on here. The, the heat's actually on, but we have no gas line hooked up.
close quarters. We got a little flap in there to block the air. Got this cut out here. Got a flap in here. Don't ask me what all this stuff does. Here's a ISEP 542 heat pump. This thing's been running for who knows how long. It's been months.